Today I am doing a makeup collection and I'm actually super excited about this video because I, one, love watching makeup collections, two, I really like the way my makeup looks right now, so, and three, uh, I'm really excited to do this because I want to compare like my makeup collection now to like in a year when I come on this video again, like the difference in how much money I spent on makeup. I already spent a bunch of money on my guilt, so. Anyways, so I just want you guys to know that I'm not trying to brag because bragging is just like rude. I don't like people who brag, so like why would I brag if I don't like other people who brag and don't mind what I'm doing with my hands? I don't know. I'm weird today. And also don't mind this. Um, I don't know what the frick this is, but it hurts like frick tits really bad. So we're just gonna also don't mind my hair because I went to school and it was like a snowstorm, as you guys are gonna see, because my makeup is right by my window. So. But yeah. Anyways, don't mind my weirdness and everything, but let's get started. All right, boys, so this is my vanity and I love the way it looks. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks like so cute and like mm, she's fine, but there's me in the mirror. <laughs> Hi guys. But anyways, let's just get into this and don't mind the lighting. It's like snowing outside, so it's got weird lighting. And I'm just sorry in advance, but yeah, let's get started. All right, so up in my windowsill over here, I just have my like makeup setting sprays. So I have the Milani Make It Last, the Milani Make It Dewy, I have Urban Decay Chill back there. I have the MAC Prep and Prime, and I also have my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, which is life. And then like right next to that, I have this little container, and it's really bad lighting, I'm really sorry guys. But in here, I have lip liners, I have some L'Oreal lipsticks, some Maybelline lipsticks, some Rimmel lipsticks, and on top, I have the best gloss ever, which is the Fenty Beauty Universal Gloss. I love that gloss so much. And there's also some like NYX stuff in there, as you can see on the right side. So then right under it, I have my palettes and like my other like lip stuff. So over here, and by the way, I think that this container I got from my old friend. I think she probably got off of Amazon or something. But I have my favorite foundations. So I have the Too Faced Born This Way. I have the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. I have the L'Oreal True Match. Really, really bad lighting. I'm so sorry guys. I feel really bad. <laughs> The Milani Conceal and Perfect, the L'Oreal Dewy Finish, the L'Oreal Too Much Lumi, and my Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Foundation or something like that. But yeah, these are just my favorite foundations and the ones that I use the most often. And then right next to that, I have lip products. So I have MAC Velvet Teddy, um... NYX like soft matte lippy in London Stockholm I have the butter gloss in like I think it's fortune cookie yeah fortune cookie I have a bare minerals gloss two Maybelline hot vivid lacquers this color pop gloss oh frick I have the color pop I love sour e ultra lip satin and i have candy k by kylie cosmetics um bedtime flirt i think my nyx and then i have um undressed i think by anastasia and then right next to that i have my main palettes but i'm gonna show you guys that in a little while and then i have my drawers right here 
So in this drawer, I just have hair ties and scrunchies and clips. And in the other drawer, I have lip balms and like nail stuff. By the way, on top of my drawer, I have my mirror that I got from Walmart, my Mero Badescu drying lotion, and this little fake plant right there that I got from uh, Marshalls. There's me. <laughs> Hi, guys. Anyways, in this drawer, I have my everyday stuff in these drawers, by the way, like my favorite products. Milani Prime Light, Master Prime Lumi. Um, e.l.f. highlighter, the Cody Airspun, which I don't really like, but I'm almost out of it, so I'm trying to use it all up before I get the Maybelline powder. I have Tarte Shape Tape, Maybelline Fit Me, the ColourPop No Filter, and I have the Rimmel Stay Matte, which I've been doing a new technique. Ever since I did my everyday makeup routine, I've literally changed some stuff which i'm kind of annoyed with so if you guys want an updated one in like a month or two let me know and then i have this tart blush in party uh, oh wait it's not party what the fuck are you talking about feisty oh she a feisty one don't mind me i'm really weird really guys then i have the number seven bronzer in caramel yep the butter bronzer, and I love this bronzer. I can't wait till I hit pan on it, and it smells amazing. I just have the light one. And then I have this e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlight Pearls, which I love. And then I have my all-time favorite highlighter in Blossom Glow by Wet n Wild. Next, I have like eye stuff. So I have the NYX Glitter Primer, my Essence Make Me Brow, Anastasia Barrowiz. I have Urban Decay Eyeliner, L'Oreal Telescopic, um, Tweezers, Brow Gel, Eyelash Glue, stuff like that. Then in the last drawer, I have lashes, glitters, and like products that I haven't opened yet. And I have this little mirror. But I have Ardell Lashes, more Ardell Lashes, Broadway Lashes, Salon Perfect Lashes. And my favorite are the Demi Wispies. And 120, by the way. And I have some glitters. I have one from Jessie's Girl and one from M Princess. Some NYX glitters. Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Primer. A backup of my London Lippy. I have this NYX concealer and a backup of my Milani Prime Light. Then over here, I have all my brushes, and I love the way that these look, by the way. Just putting that out there. So in here I have face brushes that I don't really use. So I just have like a bunch of random ones. I have ones from like Amazon, uh, Elf, um, Wet n Wild, a few Real Techniques, stuff like that. Then right here are all of my eye brushes. I have ColourPop, ones from Luxie, Wet n Wild. A couple, oh fudge, sorry guys, a couple from Morphe, I have my Real Techniques sponge and an Amazon sponge, and then my face brushes, I have Real Techniques, Wet n Wild, Morphe, stuff like that. Then right here, I have some Sense Skin Care, I have the Elf Illuminating Face Primer, the Elf Nourishing Night Cream, the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil, my Equa Beauty Dual power moisturizer the body shop tea, tea tree scrub and then a little sign that says follow your heart behind that that i got from marshall's and then this little jewelry holder that i also got from marshall's so that is my vanity so i just have a bunch of random palettes down here which once again i'll show you later but i just keep those down here because I don't use them as often as like my other palettes so this is where I store the majority of my makeup and I'm not gonna go too into detail because if one this video is already long enough and two I don't really care that much but up here these drawers I got from Walmart by the way I just have a Rimmel like face palette a Maybelline face palette some wet and wild things stuff like that this drawer is empty and this drawer has a bunch of single eyeshadows. So I have the Balm, Urban Decay, Ofra, 
ColourPop, L'Oreal, and a bunch of like stuff I got from my Ipsy. And then right here, I have primers. So I have Elf, I have Hard Candy, Maybelline, um, Sensitive, the Bare Minerals, I have Becca, Smashbox, stuff like that. Then in this drawer, I don't know if I'm going to be able to open it. I have too much makeup. Um, anyways, I just have foundations and concealers that I don't really use. So I have the Too Faced Born This Way, the Urban Decay, Naked, the Maybelline Age Rewind. I have a BB cream from Maybelline, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This like clean skin from CoverGirl. I also have another CoverGirl one in there that's stuck, so I won't get into that. Next drawer I have powders. So I have my Wet n Wild Photo Focus, the e.l.f. Um, loose powder, uh, Wet n Wild, I think it's Dulce de Leche Little Duo, which a lot of people really like. I think I need to start using that more. Then I have bronzer. So I have Tarte Park Ave Princess, the NYX Sunny Bronzer. I have the Glam Bronze by L'Oreal, which is like hecka expensive. I have Hula from Benefit, a little sample size. The Bahama Mama from The Balm. And I also have a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And then I also have this little wet and wild like dual ended stick. I don't know why my lights aren't plugged in. Let's just plug those in quick. She looks better than ever. Next drawer, I have blush. So in this drawer, like I said, blush. I have this Ulta blush in Honey Bunny. And I love that name. Like that is so cute. And she fire. Like look at her. Mm. She gorgeous. Then I have this one from Becca, and I think that this is Flower Child or something. I have Milani Luminoso. Like, this is just a basic. Everyone is in love with this blush. Oh, I dropped her. Whoops. Then I got a bunch of Wet n Wild color icon blushes. I have some from Ofra, um, some from like the Balm and stuff that and all the stuff that's over here i don't really use often um just because they're not like my favorites or whatever and then up here i have a bunch of lip products and once again i don't think oh i got it open so i have koki cosmetics i have benefit rimmel i have um, Ofra, Elf, um, Makeup Factory, Wet n Wild, More Rimmel, NYX, Heart, More Wet n Wild, um, Caitlyn Cosmetics, just like a bunch of whippies up here that I don't really use. All my favorites are over on my desk. Then in here I have mascara, so I have Last Sensational, I have Maybelline Big Eyes, um, Smashbox Full Exposure, L'Oreal Voluminous, um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise, a bunch of stuff like that. Then I have a bunch of like chromes and eye primers and eyeliners and brow stuff, so I have multiple of these NYX jumbo pencils. I have one, in, I have two in milk actually, and one in iced mocha. I have some liquid eye things from e.l.f. and liquid chromes from Maybelline. I have this Too Faced shadow insurance that's crap. This hard candy eyeshadow primer that's also crap. I have a pencil sharpener essence um super fine liner brow gel this nyx eyebrow pencil stuff like that 
Then the last two drawers are both highlighters. Highlighters are my favorite and I have a bunch of them. So I have this Lancome highlighter and this is super good. I love this. This is in Buff Lights. I have Laura Geller's Peach Glow. Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. And I wish that this fit me a little bit better, but it's gorgeous. Like, ooh, she fire. I love her. I have um, Becca Opal, which is broken. I have Pixie and Aspen Ovard. Um, London Luster. I have this Milani one that I really like, and this is gorgeous. This is in Strobe Light. And I also have Precious Petals. The Nude, Pure Nude by Essence. And then in here I have a bunch of like samples. So I have Mary Luminizer, an Afterglow by Urban Decay, some Wet n Wild sticks, a Jordana stick, Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch. But that is everything in my drawers. And now we're gonna get into palettes. So first I'm gonna start off with the palettes. I don't use this often. I have Essence, all about nudes. Um, I don't really like this. I don't use it, but whatever. I keep it anyway. I have the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone. This is the old one, as you can tell by the packaging. I have the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes Palette, which is supposed to be like a knockoff of the Urban Decay. I have Milani Palette in Bare Necessities. A bunch of people like these. Uh, I have NYC Demi Lovato palette, and they don't sell NYC in America anymore. I don't know why. I have Makeup Revolution um, Sugar and Spice Lush palette. This is really, really good. I love this palette for traveling. Then I have the Carly Bibles and BH Cosmetics First Edition palette. You can see that these highlighters are abused, but I don't really like the colors in it that much. Then I have the Tarte Maneater palette, the older one. And this is a super good palette, guys. Um, I wish it had a black. The new one does have a black. And I don't use this as often anymore. But Tarte palettes smell really, really good. And I really recommend that palette. I just use that all the time. I have the Christmas in New York. Too Faced palette and I got this two years ago 2016 Christmas and it looks like this the quality is not that great but it's still like a collector's item I guess and then last time not least I have the Morphe 350 and I just ordered some new makeup 3502 and that is gorgeous and this one I used to use all the time I like the like oranges over here and some of the shimmers but other than that all the browns are really repetitive so that's why i got the 3502 last but not least we have my palettes that live in my vanity aka my favorites so i have the kylie bronze palette i got this for my birthday for my best friend so thank you livy but i love this palette it's so gorgeous i used to use this all the time and i usually use this if i want like a super natural look I have the ColourPop QAF palette, which you guys will have seen multiple times. This palette is so gorgeous. And just look at it. Oh, I love this. This is my baby. I have the Tartlet and Bloom palette, which I also love. This is gorgeous. This is my little brother's favorite palette that I own. But just look at it. Oh my god. And once again, these smell amazing. But those colors this is such a gorgeous palette i have the color pop in nude endo highlight palette which is the highlight i am wearing today and you can see it's popping so i really recommend this and i mixed this color and this color and i know that this looks kind of dark for me but if i mix it with this super duper white shade then i can wear about any color Next, I have the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia, and I love the packaging on this, and everyone complains that there's dirty, but if you take care of your makeup, it won't look like trash. Just a heads up. But this palette is used and abused. You can tell that Tempura is, like, she hit pan. 
my goal is to like destroy this palette i don't mean destroy it but like i really want to hit pan in a bunch of shades so i really want to try and start using this more if you guys want a tutorial with any of the palettes or makeup that i've shown you guys so far by the way let me know down below or if you guys would like a first impressions or something when i get new makeup once again let me know i also have the sun dipped glow kit by anastasia i love this palette i really want the sugar one but i don't think i'm gonna get it just because it's forty dollars and I have a bunch of highlighters, even though I would love to have that palette. Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. This palette I got for Christmas, and I love her. I don't use her that often yet, but this is such a gorgeous palette. You can tell that this is just like a staple. Like, look at that color. This is gorgeous. So, I love her. Next, I have like my Holy Grail palette, which is the Jeff and Hill Morphe palette. And mine's kind of dirty because I have the old packaging one. But I got this from the very first launch. Literally, me and my mom sat there at her computer and we ordered it and just kept refreshing and refreshing until I got it. But I got one instead of my sister. But it looks like this. This palette is gorgeous. If you want any of these palettes, I recommend either this one or the Anastasia or the ColourPop one. But this palette is gorgeous. You have pops of color, your neutrals, your highlight shades, your transitions, everything. And it's only... $39 or something like that and last but not least finally to the end of this video I have the morphe 39 a dare to create palette I got this also for Christmas this year from my mama and she big and thick but just look at her she a gorgeous palette and I really want to do a look with these blues and the greens in here because this palette is absolutely gorgeous but I don't think I sell it anymore because it was limited edition for Christmas. But I love this palette as well. Alright guys, so that was my makeup collection. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. And once again, I wasn't trying to brag. And I'm, once again, sorry that this video was so long. But, you know, makeup collections tend to be long. And I'd rather have it be like a little longer than like super short. Because I wanted to give you guys details on everything and tell you... But the things that I enjoy that I have and things I don't enjoy, if you get what I'm drifting at. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this being one of like my first super chatty videos. And I know I'm kind of weird, but that's just how I am. What am I doing? I don't freaking know. And also, like my hair is a mess, but this is just my natural hair. And I've been leaving it natural lately and every... Thing. so if there's anything you guys would like to know like where my earrings are from or what lip gloss i'm wearing or anything like that ask in the comments and i'll make sure to reply and also if there's any like videos or palettes or anything you guys want to see or see me use let me know also in the comments make sure you like this video if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button it's right down there it's super easy and yeah i love you guys to the moon and back and i hope you all enjoyed this video and have a super duper duper great night or day wherever you are i love you all so much and i'll see you next time bye mm -hmm.